Pop and Comics. We are here with Mike Haran. So I just met him yesterday. Here, hold this because it's yours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like telling him what to do. Um, he is the creator writer of Ether and Empire. Oh, he's got to talk into the microphone. I, why? I'm not good at this. This is not going to work well. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I read this last night and phenomenal story. Where did you come up with this concept? Was it something you just thought up in a hole or were you like concept and then write and create? I've always liked a lot of different stories. I mean, everyone loves, you know, Star Wars, space opera, Star Trek, things like that. I've also always enjoyed um, like stories of British colonialism and that kind of thing. So, Ether and Empire is kind of a, an amalgamation of all those. I love the Jules Verne. Um, I love the concept. Very, it's almost, uh, I hate to say like that steampunk concept, but I, the, the feel of it is very in there. But uh, I, I love the um, the old England, um, and and you wrote it. Uh, I totally heard it as I'm reading it. I'm reading it in an accent, which was awesome. Um, so the the concept of this, how how long did it take you to put this into a, you know a, an entire book? This was originally a screenplay, which took me only about three weeks to write. Oh wow! And it sat on the shelf for years. And finally, I found a publisher and converted it over to comic book format in, again, just a couple weeks. In a couple weeks, seriously. Uh, I also I, love... I wrote, I wrote issue three in one day. Okay, that's, okay, that's <laughs> impressive. And it's so well written. Uh, I, by the way, looking at you guys, highly recommend picking this up. Do you have a website that they can find to buy this? They can find everything on bluejuicecomics.com. Uh, Blue okay. Uh, okay, so go there because this is awesome. Um, I love the For My Beloved Wife Who Hates Comics. Is there like a little backstory to that? No, she just hates comic books. Really? <laughs> Not like, all right, but supportive anyways. I'm oh, guessing. incredibly supportive. And your story in the back, which I love. Totally valid, true? Totally true. Please take a minute to read the back of this comic because his story is freaking awesome. Uh, so the artwork concept, did you have a hand in that as well? It took a long time to find an artist for this book. Um, we, we started our search locally, we're from Central Florida, and we couldn't find anybody who could commit to the time, so we expanded the search nationally, and finally I had to go to the Philippines to find my guy. I found him on DeviantArt, but he yeah. is, um, he's been drawing for Marvel and DC since 88. So I will say, and he is not here today because he hates flying, so <laughs> we can't talk to him, um, but he did a phenomenal job in creating the characters, um, the whole feel of it. Uh, I really love, like, once they find the aliens and hit Mars, the, like, dark, seedy, uh, like, cyborg-esque, and I was so uh, um, pulled into what the C part, like, I can see. I'm, I'm it's so great. It just kind of leaves you hanging. Like, are you going to continue with this? Eventually, yes. That's the that's the goal. Yeah. I, I, I mean, look. If you can do this in three weeks, I expect <laughs> another one to be happening soon. I'm as, just I'm as, just saying. As soon as we can. Okay. Uh, again, I'm Lena, and this fine gentleman, Mike Haran, has written a phenomenal comic. I highly recommend that you check it out. Welcome Thank you so to much. Welcome to Orlando 2017. The show is now open. Have a fantastic.